events level two three with mr liam richards and mr jamie knight good afternoon good afternoon how are you i'm doing kind of well actually what about yourself yeah well all things considered yeah we're talking about events today let's start off with a few i don't know like annual events uh what are you, what are your favorite annual events what things do you like to go to every year I am a sucker for Christmas. I do love Christmas. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I never liked it when I worked in retail because I would hear Christmas songs at the start of November. That's uh, torture. Yeah, but getting out of that was uh, gave me a, a different appreciation for it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a sucker for Christmas. So how do you usually celebrate Christmas then that you're in Japan? Well, it's, yeah, it's different here, isn't it? Like uh, there's no... Uh, fanfare about it or anything so it's kind of a more personal thing i just video call back home and just uh, spend it with airy my my wife over there that's your lovely wife is it yeah that's a nice she's picture small. sorry she's very small she <laughs> she is quite small yeah yes uh petite yes that's a good word let's go with petite <laughs> yeah. uh yeah yeah i know what you mean uh, christmas is uh it's slightly different here, isn't it? Yeah. Are you a fan of it? Uh, actually, uh, I kind of, uh, I put a lot of effort into Christmas now that I've got my two kids. Yeah. Uh, uh, effort and uh, money, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I, I do like it now that I've got the kids there. Mm -hmm. Like you said, when it was just me and my wife before, it was more like just a date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but with the kids, yeah, I tried to make it special. Uh, yeah, it sounds fun to have kids around that time. It's great. It's great. It's good. Mm -hmm. uh, they love it. Um, now, what kind of events do you feel sort of, you know, like obliged to, but you really rather not? Uh, I'd say most events, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a an introvert, so I, I, I'm not a big fan of going out most of the time, I would say. I, I do like socializing, but uh, yeah. if it's something that I'm not particularly interested in or if I don't know people well in it, then I, I don't feel so motivated to go myself. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, you, you, you work, uh, you know, your, your company, of course, is very forward thinking and modern and, uh, as far as I know. Uh, but uh, <laughs> is, it, uh, is it mandatory to attend uh, work events at Kensington? I mean, I don't believe so. I, uh, I, didn't I think you'll find that it is, young man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no one out here I could ask that could tell me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have no idea, Jamie. You know, I'll have to get back to you on that. It's not mandatory. It's that, not, but, but you should go. Yeah. There's nothing worse than making an event mandatory in terms of killing fun, I think. I actually totally agree, uh, to be honest. Uh, I agree. Um, now, uh, in my neighborhood, uh, we have some events like my neighborhood has uh, an annual sports day. Yeah. Uh, and we also have uh, our, uh, the very exciting Nishijin Shotengai um, Summer Festival. Um, do you usually attend uh, events in your, in your neighborhood? Uh, no, I, I, I would say in Dazaifu, there's not a lot going on. Uh, to be honest, um, I don't know if anyone does sports in Dazaifu, um, <laughs> but uh, I would assume you go those to those places because you have kids. Is that right? It's more a family thing. Um, I suppose so. Mm. I suppose so. I mean, we have like the school sports day uh, mm. for the kids, which is with the school. But my neighborhood also holds like its annual sporting event. Oh, okay. Um, which is not particularly connected to the kids, but I think, yeah, it's more of a family thing. Yeah. So I grudgingly go to that sometimes mm. and, and get involved in the tug of war. Oh, classic. <laughs> yes, it's a classic. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the kids enjoy it, so we go. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I'd like to try something like that uh, maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe once. Uh, and, uh, once it's good, yeah. Now, have any have there been any big events that have happened in your family in I don't know, say the last year or two? Uh, yeah, well, in almost exactly a year ago, uh, I got married, uh, so that was a big event within my family. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Um, where did you get married? Uh, we got married in Dazaifu City Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It was a uh, yes, a quick and easy event. Yeah. Um, I suppose none of your family could attend. Yes, unfortunately not, uh, and that's kind of why we didn't do a wedding, or a big part of the reason why we we felt that if one side of the family couldn't be there, maybe it was just better to do it the official way, and then maybe have a party in the future somewhere down the road. Actually, yeah, like I also I, I got married at the city hall mm. and invited uh, no one. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We had our wedding party, I think, maybe a couple of months later. All right. And we just held the party. Uh, my, none of my family actually could come to that one either. Uh, so, yeah, I yeah, I know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Now, it's almost exactly a year since you got married, which means that you have your anniversary coming up. That is correct. When is it? It is on February 14th. Valentine's Day. That's right. And Was that on purpose? It, of course, yeah. I, I'm a complete romantic. And I didn't know. Extremely notice. forgetful. So, <laughs> that works both ways. <laughs> uh, you're a, a big romantic, Liam, so I'm assuming that you have lots planned for that special day. Well, of course. I'm going to wine her and dine her. Oh, yeah? Are you going to go out? Well, I'm going to do both of those things inside. Uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I'm going to cook for her, get some nice, uh, I think she likes, uh, what's the name, gin and tonic maybe, I think she likes uh, something like that. So I'll have to ask her what she likes uh, before I go and buy it. Uh, 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 yeah, it's going to be tough keeping that one as a surprise party then. <laughs> 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 Liam, thank you very much. It's been nice talking to you as usual. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.